Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Gronert, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use one of my favorite GLAD strategies, which is the Farmer in the Dell sentence building chart. Let's take a look. The first thing that you need to do to use this strategy in your classroom is create a chart like this for your students. I have each column labeled, and you need to label the columns with adjective, noun, verb, adverb, and prepositional phrase. If you teach kindergarten or first grade, you may want to leave off adverb and just have your chart say adjective, noun, verb, prepositional phrase. Okay, so when I start teaching, the first thing I'm going to do is tell the students what we're doing. So children, I am so excited. Today, we are going to be building sentences with our farmer in the Dell chart. I've already chosen a noun for our chart. Today's noun is volcano because we've been learning all about volcanoes. And we're going to put in parts of speech with the word volcano to make amazing, wonderful sentences. Let's take a look at the parts of speech on the chart. Are you ready to sing the song with me? Let's do it. Adjective, adjective, noun. Adjective, adjective, noun. Adjective, adjective, noun, verb. Adverb, prepositional phrase. Let's do that again. I like that song. Ready? Adjective, adjective, noun. Adjective, adjective, noun. Adjective, adjective, noun, verb, adverb, prepositional phrase. That was awesome. Okay, so now we need to start filling out our chart with adjectives. And if you remember, an adjective is a word that describes. It describes size, shape, it tells texture, it's what you can see, feel, hear, and touch, right? Okay, so let's think about all the adjectives we can about volcanoes. Before you start telling the adjectives, I'd love for you to think about how volcanoes are described in some of the books that we've read. And think about the words that we have on our input charts about volcanoes. Okay, are you ready to tell me words about volcanoes? Super. Then I let the children tell me different words about volcanoes and we put them on the chart. So these are some of the words the students in my class came up with when we built our chart about volcanoes. And those are red, big, bumpy, smoky, fiery, violent, loud, and quiet, which is pretty fun. So once I finish adding in the adjectives, we next go to verbs. Okay, class, do you remember? A verb is an action. What's a verb? That's right, it's an action. It tells what the volcano does. These are the things that the volcano do. So think about that. Think about the books that we've read. Think about all the things we've been learning. What do volcanoes do? We then fill in this section of the chart. We do the same thing for prepositional phrases. When you come to prepositional phrases, you want to make sure you explain that prepositional phrases say where or when. So they give a lot of time and they also tell about places. So the other goal with prepositional phrases is that you only want to use the same word twice. Once you've used it twice, close it off and help the children think about other prepositional phrases. So if you're if they say at 3.45 p.m. because that was the time Mount St. Helens exploded and then they say at the evening, well, then they're done with at. They need to come up with other prepositional phrases. If your children are struggling in this category, then you can help them out by saying, hmm, how about this? What's this? Around. So think about the words that we have 
red, the red volcano explodes around the river or around the mountain. Help them to think about those words by using gestures. Try not to just give them the words. Once you have your prepositional phrases, the last part of the chart you're going to want to add is adverb. When you're adding adverb, you want to let the children know that adverbs are the words that describe the verbs. So the volcano, the red volcano explodes. How does it explode? A lot of the time those words end with ly so they can also look at the adjectives to help them with this part so loudly dangerously quietly those are all really good adverbs once you have your whole chart built then you as the teacher are going to choose some of those words to put together and sing as a sentence, just like this. Okay, everybody, now that we have all the words on our chart, we get to sing one of the sentences. Are you ready? Big red volcano, the big red volcano, the big red volcano explodes quietly in the night. Let's sing that again. The big red volcano, the big red volcano, the big red volcano explodes quietly in the night. Let's try another one. The smoky fiery volcano, the smoky fiery volcano, the smoky fiery volcano shoots loudly at 345. You can make uh, an amazing number of different sentences once you have the chart filled out. Once you have the chance to sing a few different sentences with the class, with your help, then give that to your students. Let your students create the sentences and sing them. And then have the children repeat what their friends say. I'll usually stop the lesson for the day at that point. We'll come back to the chart again the next day, and the next day we'll start by singing some sentences, and I'll have the children tell me some sentences, and we'll get a chance to sing a lot of different sentences. Then I'll give them a big sentence strip and have them write their own sentence, and then we can take those sentence strips and put them around the chart. That's usually where I stop the next lesson. After that, on another day, we'll come back to the chart again, and I'll have the children, we'll start by singing a few of their sentences from the sentence strips, and then I'll ask them to try to write multiple sentences, usually for my grade level, which is second grade, three or four sentences, using the chart. When they finish writing those sentences, I always have them go with a partner and read their sentences to the partner, and then their partner can read them to them. The thing that's really exciting about using a chart like this is it helps build the children's vocabulary, but once you've used all of these wonderful rich words, you'll see the children applying so many of these words in other places in their learning. I hope you enjoyed learning about the GLAD sentence building Farmer in the Dell chart, and thanks for joining me today. Bye.